Hello and welcome to HITC Sport. With Sutherland's 10 year stay in the Premier League seemingly about to come to an end, what players would the fans like out the door this summer? To be honest, I don't think they're going to be stuck for choice. What player will be first out the door this summer if it's up to you? Wow, that's a, that's a good question. Um, Thanks, I thought of it last night. That would be a very, very difficult difficult decision to make because I've, yeah, I've had a tendency in the past myself to pick on individuals but when you look at a team which is full of people who are not fully committed or not committed sufficiently apart from Jermaine Defoe, that's a really worrying thing. You look at the team sheet, that is a ta championship team. There's quite a few players that need to that need to go who are not showing the passion. I think a, a clear out might be a good thing. The players that have been brought in have not just been good enough skill, for, uh, skill, skill wise, they've actually just been not very good enough from the heart. The heart hasn't been there at all. Barini. His attitude's not the same as what it was when he was on loan. It seemed like a lot of hassle to sign Barini. If he hasn't been worth hassle, the player should either come or he doesn't want to come. So he was kind of dragged kicking and screaming for Sutherland. He, he, he was. He, he was a fan favourite when he was on loan, biting his hand all the time. But because he tried when he was on loan. When he was here, when we got to the cup final, he played with a lot more enthusiasm and he scored more goals. Who will get rid of? Rodwell, O'Shea, Larson, Gibson. O'Shea's finished. Who's naming all the Irish players now? Hey, O'Shea, he's done his job. Yeah, that's it. Jack Rodwell, he's crap. Rodwell. Rodwell hasn't delivered since he signed. He hasn't done nothing. It was £10 million. Pounds. Took he, about three years to win a game. He had a lot to deliver and he never done nothing. Genesiah go back to Man United. How the puff. Didn't mean it like that. Yeah. Janazai. I would uh, release Janazai. I don't think it's Janazai is good enough. We've got lots of nearly players. I know. I don't actually pronounce his name now. I just call him Jamaraqua. All right? Because I can't pronounce his name. Janazai is too weak. He hasn't scored. Anybody give him a knock and then he's out of it. You know. What a I mean? gust of wind would blow him over. Oh, he's not, he's not a very strong player at all. When you get a player from Man United, you expect someone who will make a difference. He's coming to our side. He's played on a regular basis. and made no difference. He's, he's not doing his job. At the moment. Doesn't trot back. I don't think his commitment's there and his defending's poor. It's trying to beat five or six players and not having the sense to pass the ball. That kind of thing was makes you a nearly player rather than a great player. Obviously that can be taught out of you. You're gonna be killed by a good manager and hopefully about one year's time, two years time, three years time, Jumara Kwai or whatever could well be a re world-class player. But we've yet to see it. I mean that sort of player who just dribbles and doesn't pass would give you a headache, wouldn't it? Extremely frustrating. Does the NSI think he's too big for the club? Well, he is. Yeah, I think he's better than Sunderland. You don't have to be good to be better than Sunderland. Denier will go for Man City. He's not, he's not the best player. Denier, I think. I think he'd come in with high hopes on loan and do not do well. He's an haircut, though. Jones. Can't defend. Kazri, for instance, doesn't give a shit. Chase. Kazri doesn't know what he's doing. Kazri's got to go. He was banging in screamers last season. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. not good enough now, mate. We need somebody like a centre back, a proper centre back, like somebody like Gary Neville. I mean, yeah, he retired about five years ago, but... Yeah. There'll be two going, I know that for sure, young uh, Jordan Pickford. I'll cry when Defoe goes, so... He's in the wrong position. I'll play him wide. And Pierre, that should be. An HB. An HB. An HB. In the middle. Nah, surely you wouldn't play Defoe as a winger. I would. He's too small when the balls come across. They play high balls all the time. But I think it'd be better off playing wide. Seriously, it's controversial. It's controversial. I would love to see you as the manager. It would make for some funny decisions. If you're wanting to stay in, in the Premier League, then you've got to put out players that you think are suitable to play the likes of Manchester United, Leicester, Liverpool, Everton and all the big clubs. I.e. not happy Jadabaji who can't defend for his life. Exactly. So at least you have Sheffield United away to look forward to next season. I hear that's a good trip. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.